What are Haricat's top leaderboard meta teams? Today, I will explain with community gathered information throughout the first few months of Haricat minigame. What heroes are worth upgrading and what is the best strategy for beginners in a budget to have the best teams quickly. My channel is just starting and I have plenty of gathered information about Haricat GameFi to pass on. So please, leave a like and subscribe so you can help me and don't miss out on more content like this. Let's start. To be in the leaderboard and get daily rewards in Haricat's arena rank, battle power is not the only thing that matter. Lineups with more synergy can be a lot more successful in arena and score higher in the world boss. Some battlers work well together and others are just better than others. Are normal heroes worth it or just rare? Some normal cats can be better than rares. Yeah, this happens because the most important information about the battlers are not their rarities but their abilities and growth as you can see in the growth information tab. Most players will only level up normal heroes if they are holy and just until a certain point in their account's progression. But, these two normal cats are frequently seen in the high ranks because of their growth stats. Susu and Cream both have a BB potential and can have their stars raised easily. These special heroes are better than other normals and can be acquired through Tower of Babel and Hero Summon respectively. There's also the rare counterpart of those. The two best rare heroes are Pastor, acquired through Tower of Babel, and Rock, acquired through Hero Summon. I would recommend you to only craft Cream or Rock if you are a higher budget player, as they get expensive to star later on. I will talk about Tower of Babel in my next video, so be sure to turn on notifications. So, what are the best lineups after all? Well, the general consensus between the community is to have three big damage dealers, one support cat and one flexible slot that can be for a tank, off tank, or another damage dealer. Also, almost all top players will use at least one cat that has the stun blow ability. Meaning every top tier team has at least one Buchaner or rock. Here are some sample lineups. Team 1. Damage dealers being, rock plus cream plus Buchaner. Support being weather and, tank being night. Team 2. Damage dealers being, Buchaner plus wasp plus susu. Support being pastor and, off tank being shaman. Team 3. Damage dealers being, Buchaner plus Sparta plus Susu. Support being Pastor and, Jack for more damage and support. And like these, you can fit your cats into a balanced lineup. Give it your best with what you got. After knowing all that, you may notice that your first team does not make sense. Is it a mistake upgrading the first 5 heroes that you get from the hero chest? Well, actually it's not wrong if you do that. You don't need to freeze your progress until you have the perfect team. Haricat has two mechanisms that will help you not harm your progress. Hero Cat Heritage lets you recover 70% of one NFT level by burning it to upgrade your newly acquired one. Plus, because your food level gets higher the more you progress in the adventure. You will be able to level up your new acquired cats for much cheaper than the first ones. Generally, two of your highest level foods at any point will be able to level up a new cat from level 1 to the level of your current team. So, no big worries, upgrading the first cats you get is actually a good strategy for players on a budget. Hope that I managed to help some of you with your lineup questions but feel free to also leave your comments down below. More videos are coming this week. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one. If you want to start in Haricat now, I will give you a free start mentorship if you start with my referral code. Just sign up with the link in the description and contact me. Thanks for watching.